Alright, so after trying the uh, conveyor belt method, um, I decided to go a different tack. And this is the one that I did this time. Um, I now have an impeller, or whatever the hell that's called. It's basically hooked up to, you got the motor down here, and then there are, let me get this in focus. There we go. We got the um, small gear, big gear, and then the big gear turns this guy right here. And then that basically goes and pushes up this platform. And so now what's going to happen is the platform is going to support some CDs like this. There we go. And now I've got it hooked up to this and I've also got it hooked up to my phone. So I'm going to go ahead and As you can see, I did a lot of reduction on the gear, so it goes up very slowly because I'd rather have fine adjustment rather than something going up fast or slow. So, because I don't know how many of these CDs I'm going to be putting on there. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to have like a touch sensor that will see when it actually hits a certain spot. And then there's going to be a wheel which will push the top CD off of the stack. And then what that means is that I'll also need something back here that will end up blocking all the rest of the stack. So only one CD can come off at a time, or one disc can come off at a time. And I think that this is going to be the way that I end up having to go with the rest of it, because I think that'll end up working pretty well. So it's pretty stable. It's not like, you know, super stable or anything along those lines. Right now the discs are going to end up falling off, so I need to have something which, you know, keeps them from doing it. Anyway, so that's where we're at now.